Africa, welcome to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. I'm your host, Joy Muthengi, here at Studio Tusker. Now, after a riveting weekend of live shows that started with a double eviction on Saturday, and then the shocking news that nobody was being put on probation on Sunday, Tusker Project Fame definitely made history. So this is what happened in the Academy on Monday morning, after a celebration on Sunday where everyone was safe. Yesterday night. Oh, Safara. Yesterday night. Oh, Safara. Yesterday night. Why did you have to go? Oh, Safara. <laughs> no, like, seriously, seriously. When, when Ian was like, the first person to go on probation is no one. I'm like, wait a minute. I felt, I'm like, I'm like, no. No, no, no. That's what I thought. You know, let me tell you. I thought he was joking. You know, I, think, I don't I think know. I think he noticed. He noticed yeah. that guys didn't believe it. So he yes. used the, the unfortunate yes. part. The yes. second person on probation. <laughs> I knew, wow. Oh, it was a prank. I actually it thought it was. Trying One to. of us is going to win that money, but all of us were winners. Yeah. We, yes. Yesterday was nice. <laughs> <laughs> all of us are already winners. Yeah. Superstars. When Just keep the money. dream alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lakini, run is after going reach. to win. Oh, is going to win that money. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Please, bless Nyambura at least to the quarter acre. You don't have to separate us. Quarter two. No, 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 a quarter. Nyambura, that's a lot of money. A quarter. You have to know, for a lot. It is just their nature. You know, because I've been friends with you, you. Please, give me a half. Yeah. Just cut me something. Me cut me something. Please something help more. help Mwangi to continue his business, please. Beyond <laughs> taking you to Safari Park and you eat what you want. Akana. Uh, I should have been there. Who saw so Patrick yesterday at the club? An hour. An hour. An hour. An hour. I was going down to here. And then Meta, Meta <laughs> tells him, squat. And then he was like, Patrick, did you see what you did? Let me go, man. No, when is it? Wait, Patrick, you. Hey. Hey. Hey, guys, uh, we, we never went to Mombasa. <laughs> yeah, guys, we were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I told you. There's no way you can do it. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, Jet. Why did you do the same thing? I knew it. Hey, you didn't know. Daisy, I knew it. You didn't know. No, but pretend I gave you out. I literally could tell. I literally could tell. We were supposed to prank you guys. Was that really? No, yeah, pretend I was overdoing it. Because she came and said, hey, guys, you can't believe it. Guys, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not the situation I know. Oh, the sleeper no. is number hey, seven, it looks like number but four. But you can tell her eyes, I'm just... Yeah, you know what? Just... Sitenda was that yeah. hyper. All she through. is hyper. Now I she asked is her. very hyper. You see, from, from Club Betis. Yeah, from Club Betis, hyper, mm. from the radio station. Mm. Hey, she was hyper with the music. Oh, Dancing all the time. Mm. I asked East her, Africa, Musi Doz. Musi Doz. Muni Botie. Muni Botie. It was so nice. Sit down. 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 After the break, voice coach Kavuda reviews the weekend's shows and three of the contestants join me right here on the couch only on Tusker Project Fame Season 6. Welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. Voice coach Kavuda really enjoyed the weekend's shows. This is Kavuda in action. And this is Kavuda in Monday morning's class. Okay, let's look at Sunday. He's here. Yes. That one. <laughs> what do you think? You're on the move. <laughs> That's yes. all. <laughs> That's all. You're just on the move. Let's be objective. What 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 worked? What didn't work? Yes. The chemistry worked. The chemistry worked. I do feel though that you can be more aware of what the people are doing. Don't be in an insular performer. Don't be stuck in my. This is what I'm doing. I'm not gonna change. Okay? Yeah. So, but the chemistry was nice. You were having yeah. fun. Yeah. Vocally, out of ten, we say? Three, three five, yeah. four. Uh, 
four. Four, five. five. Let's be kind, let's say five. Yeah, five. For me, towards the end, it became noisy because everybody had a wonderful ad lib that they had thought about that they had to share. What we rehearse is what you must do. You can't have a wonderful idea. Oh, I want to have a good note. I must share it. No, this is not the point. And we'll watch them and you'll see it come out a lot of times. So let's try Fiona Josh, he's here. <laughs> Was that with you? It's better than I thought it was. It's better than you thought it was, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought That's it was... comforting for you Yeah, or for it is us? comforting okay. for me. Okay. All right. Yeah, I thought, oh my God, this was bad. <laughs> yeah, it actually wasn't that bad. Could have been better, but uh -huh. it was okay. Okay, Josh? I think I got too carried away. Uh -huh. and we shouted a lot. But I think we, we tried to blend. <laughs> yeah, we did blend quite mm. well. Yeah especially in the, in the cappella part. It was nice. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> the end was nice. Um, yeah, it mm. was nice. Fiona. On the last ocean part, mm. ah, the breathing was too weird. We it's hard to come back after dancing. It is. So you then must have more consciously prepared for that. Yeah, which is why we say learn the songs early so you get the dance moves early so we can fix on the breathing early. Mm -hmm. Everything is a, is a, because we can't fix breathing if we don't know that you'll be dancing, because as a result, we must counteract those things. Right? Oh. I want to see no woman, no cry next. Let's let Daisy, ladies first. <laughs> um, I think I enjoyed the performance. It was my best yes. for the night. Yes. Um, I love the chemistry that yes. was going on between us. Yeah, okay. we had a good. few here and there, but I yes. think it was, yeah. OK, good, good. When we were starting, I, I didn't feel like my voice was in the right place. In the right space. So I didn't want to do so much because okay. I thought I would. I would OK, OK. Know. It was enough. I'm just saying you, I felt you could have done more. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it was still good. It still sounded good. But good hope. Uh, first, uh, in the beginning, you know, uh, I'm not used to singing like soft. Yes. But there's something I did. Uh, I feel like it's very nice. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, I feel like it's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> I know, I guess you have no problem with self-confidence. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, my only comment would be, this is another part where I felt hope. You began to ad-lib in the, everything's gonna be all right, and you were the most important harmony. Mm. Which is not bad, but that's back to my point of, the song required for you to sing together. Yeah? Mm. And so, for us, it's learning. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but we all have those moments. And I feel that was your moment, where you didn't stick to the script. And as a result, you left them sort of hanging. Now, when you sing by yourself, you can run from here to Timbuktu and come back. We won't have an issue with it. But when you sing in a group, am I giving my partner space to also shine? Because it's not just about you. And it's hard to sing in a group because it requires that much more restraint, OK? I don't know what we're going to do this week, but I would like us to grow from that. From that. Can we agree? Yes? Fine. Goodbye. On the couch with me right now is the Kenyan team that's still in the competition, the yeah. lovely Nyambura, mm -hmm. Amos and Josh. Welcome yeah. to Studio Task. It's good to hang out with you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Good to hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These guys are crazy. Yeah. Let's start with Amos and Josh. I mean, you guys went from being this unknown duo to East Africans just screaming your name every weekend. And, you know, has the fame really set in for you guys? Not as well, to be honest. But it's good to know that we are appreciated. Yeah. yeah. That's a special thing. It's an honor. People yeah, are so. coming carrying these banners. I mean, yeah, have you been really. shocked by the amount of support that <laughs> you guys have? Yes, we have, too. But we are so humbled mm -hmm. because it's not something that we force people to do. Yeah. They willingly do it, and we so much appreciate that East Africa. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the lovely Nyambura. 
You've come from far. <laughs> <laughs> I remember meeting Nyambura at the top 25 auditions when she was asking me for lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> and now you are, you <laughs> you are you've shocked the world, though. I mean, you're such yes. a strong performer. You got up there on Sunday, did that lovely duet with, with Josh. Yeah. Are you even, are you shocked yourself of how far you've come? It's, it's all, it's all by the grace of God. And uh, he's the one that gives me that strength to keep going. You know, prayer is always that thing that has to keep you going all the time. Yeah. You don't, you're a human being and your strength alone is not even strength. Mm. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> We also have a huge fan base. I mean, you know, Nyeri County has got your back. Yeah, like how <laughs> Someone was telling me. Someone was telling me that the, the, remember the time I went on probation. Yeah. At the at the guys were burning maize cobs on the streets. You know, it's serious, eh? You guys are gonna get out of here and be shocked. Like, whoa! When did I blow up so much? Oh my god! But what do you think you've learned from the faculty? The faculty has taught me a lot. These guys are people I've grown up knowing, looking up to. Mm. And you guys, I mean, you guys have been singing together for quite a while, but what, what would you say you've learned from the faculty? The biggest, biggest lesson I've learned, something that I've noticed across um, all the people that have come um, to help us and to grow us up this far, they are so, so, so nice. Yeah. They're very humble people. And I think that's the biggest lesson I've learned, that being nice and being kind to people and we'll just get you so far. Yeah. That's true. Nyambura, what would you say your plans are for after you leave the academy? I remember once hearing you say you already you already know what you're going to do after all this is done. Actually, I already know what I'm doing. Eh? The fact that I've gotten this whole marketing thing, this free air time and all, I appreciate it a lot. But as far as talent is concerned, it doesn't matter if it's music, if it's just drawing things, if it's just dancing. Like one day, I don't care how old I'm gonna be, I have to like go out there and pick those people who are not known. Whatever they do, if any of it's drawing, just open somewhere for them. Yeah. Just exploit what they have. And nurture that talent. And nurture that talent for them. Yeah. Amos and Josh, I was having a conversation with someone the other day and they're saying, I really hope these guys don't split up after the show. As in, you're just hearing, hi, I'm Amos from Amos and Josh. Like, <laughs> are, you guys, are you guys planning on sticking together? Yeah, I, yeah most definitely. Um, it's been a, it's been a journey for us, and we are so much appreciated um, of all the support that we're getting from East Africa. Um, one of the things we wanted to do once we leave here is just go and just chill. Chill. <laughs> no, that's a good plan. Yeah. It's a lot just, of just lot for of at work least for at least a do. week, you know, for mm -hmm. just to get to get to get clarity mm -hmm. and just to talk to our mentors. Um, on how we can use the fame and everything we have we have received so far as a blessing. Hopefully, if we earn the money also, yeah. how we can use it to try and further our career as musicians. We really want to do a lot of um, young people empowerment and all that. Mentoring. Yeah, mentoring and stuff. Mm -hmm. Bringing out music that really deals with the heart, you know, heart issues and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that's what we want to do. You guys are so focused. Yeah, okay. Making me feel like I haven't done anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And Nyambura, what are you going to take the people of Nyer? The fact that I'm here representing them, it's an honor. You know, no one really comes out and says, I am from yeah, here, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I, but this time I'm like, I have to represent my people. Uh, yeah, 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 I am from Nyele. Nyele. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, watching, so yeah. shout, you can shout them out. I'm having a good time representing you, representing Kenya. It's all in here. I love it so much. And um, I'm looking forward to more of your support. And I appreciate that you do up to now. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to the whole 254. Yeah. Yeah. Hope 255. <laughs> 255, 256, 250, 250. All of the 25. Yeah. 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 Thank you for the mad love and support. We love you. We love you so much. Thank you so much to Team 254 for joining me here on the couch today on Studio Tasca. Tomorrow, I'm going to be hanging out with Hope from Burundi and Fiona and Patrick from Rwanda. So make sure you tune in then. After the break, Principal Eric Wainena loses his principal hat and puts on his music director hat. Stay tuned to Tasca Project Fame Season 6. <laughs> Welcome back.
welcome back to Tesco Project Fame Season 6. Now, even though you don't get to vote this week, remember to keep liking our Facebook page, which is Tusca Laga. Your support so far has been overwhelming. We've got over 110,000 likes, so keep them coming. And if you're on Twitter, we really appreciate you helping us trend at number one again this weekend. So join the conversation on hashtag TPF6. Now, signing us out for today, here is Principal Eric Wainaina changing the landscape of music once again. I'll see you same place, same time tomorrow. Um, yesterday was about collaborating, right? And um, I do want to single you out, Daisy, as someone who did something that we had agreed you wouldn't do. We talked about you ad-libbing and coming back mm. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the last line, right? But not only did you not do that, but you took your ad-lib on for so long that you made Patrick have two false starts at the end there. Daisy, that is unfair. I need to tell you that if, 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 you, if you do that again, I'm going to recommend that you be put on probation. Okay? Sorry. Well, you you owe him the apology. Sorry, Patrick. Yeah? Okay, so now let's talk about this week. About, about a month ago, I was reading my daughter's um, um, a bedtime story, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. But I couldn't bring myself, right, to keep on calling this woman Snow White, right? Because here we are in a in an African context, right? And so I started calling her Coconut Brown, right? So it was Coconut Brown and the Seven Benga Dwarves is how I read the story to my kids, right? And then um, uh, I started thinking whether that would be an interesting thing to come and do here, right? As our theme for this week, right? So we're taking, we're taking a fairy tale, we're putting it in the African context and then use the sort of the existing appropriate songs, right, that would fit in, that would help us tell the story, right? We've cast you guys um, in, in what, what, what we think would be appropriate roles, right? Mademoiselle. Oh, you guys are interestingly on the same side of the room. Cool. In, in, in Snow White or Coconut Brown, you've got your father, right? Um, whose first wife dies, he's a, he's a king, he's the, the queen dies and he marries another woman who is the evil stepmother. The evil stepmother wants to be the, the fairest or the, the most beautiful in the land, right? But she's jealous about the king's daughter. So she plans to have the, the daughter killed, right? So she sends her into the forest with the police officer, right? Um, to to, 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 uh, so that she can be killed, but the police officer has a change of heart and leaves her alone, right? She then finds her way to the house of the dwarves, right? Who tell her, whoever comes to knock on the door, don't let that person in, right? So meanwhile, back at the, at the palace, the evil stepmother is asking the mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all, right? And the mirror is still there like, you know what? Samakweli, it's still coconut brown, right? And then, but she's there like, I thought she, she had been killed. So she keeps on sending people over to the dwarf's place to sort of entice Coconut Brown with one time it's an apple, one time it's a comb, whatever. Ultimately, she manages to poison her and Coconut Brown falls asleep, right? Handsome Prince comes and gives her a kiss and she wakes up and we're all happy. I had some ideas for some songs we could, we could throw in. Just to give you an idea, for example, if the evil stepmother at the beginning, um, because her, her thing is, she wants to be the best in the land, right? What if she sang like Bootylicious? Beyonce is Bootylicious. So it could either be an attitude song or I want to be loved, as we have sort of, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Do you guys want to act this thing out? I will. Just coming up. Okay. Evil stepmother. Okay, uh... Could you explain what you mean? Okay, you want to be the best in the land. You want to be the one. <laughs> Just make something up. Do you know the words for bootylicious? Okay, who knows bootylicious? Do you know it? I know you know it. Okay, come, go stand there. Destiny's Child, the three of you. I don't think you're ready for this. I don't think you're ready for this. My body's too bootylicious for you, babe. So that's how we open.
<laughs> Not you and me, though. <laughs> and then our father goes and sings something. <laughs> Kojo? No. You'd go and sing your jam? Baby girl, I promise to love you. That's, that's your chorus, Kojo. That's your chorus. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Spot the sticks. Yeah. We just want to throw harmonies too. So we'll go there. Our princess. Sing Spanish guitar. I wish you hold me in your eyes Like a Spanish guitar And you would play me through the night In that town Okay, um, okay, <laughs> the, uh, the dwarves, sorry. Yeah. It's the story, it's got nothing to do with the two of you. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. 